Good morning, welcome back to another episode. Today we're doing a bit of a solo sesh. Um, we're gonna be chasing a few fish. I'm gonna try and get myself a snapper. We might try and chase some squid, the freezer's empty. It's a beautiful day out here in Port Phillip Bay. We're gonna be out here for a few hours trying to target different kind of species such as snapper, squid, maybe a couple of flathead. Oh, it's gonna be a great day. Have a look. Have a look at the conditions. Absolutely beautiful. Just sounding around, just trying to see if I can at least tag a few fish and uh, we'll bop the anchor down, but the sounder is absolutely dead at the moment. I forgot to bring my sunglasses, so you're gonna be watching me like this all day. Today I'm gonna be using three different types of bait. I've got the whiting, the pilchards, and some old squid that I caught a couple of weeks ago. These are just the head because I have actually discovered something and you might call me stupid for not knowing about it, but it's the fishing almanac. Almanac. The fishing almanac. And I've been reading it and I've been studying it. And supposedly in March 2023, today, the 22nd, is supposed to be the best day fishing. So I thought I'll, I'll cross check that with a few different apps. And every app that I've seen has said that today, makes for a great day fishing so i thought oh, oh, i've got to come out today so the almanac i'm going to see if it's true if it's not true if it depends which it most likely does all i know is it's a great day to be out on the boat might make a move you know what i might go get some squid got some new squid jigs I lost, I don't remember, I'm not sure if you watched that last video, but I lost my rainbow jig, so I went and picked up another one. I'm pretty sure this is the exact one, so extremely happy I found it. And then I've got this one here, the ballistic, which has got a bit of a noise. We'll get this one out. Clean the weeds off it. Hasn't done, I mean the float went under once and uh, it was snagged, so I guess the only thing that shows me is that it works. Folks, it's been very quiet on the squid here. We've got that whiting on the floater, hasn't been touched. But well, we can't get squid. We've got to keep trying, we can't give up. The two jigs in, we've got that whiting in on the stick. Mm. We're doing another drift now. This, this ground is so clear. Wait till I get to a clear, I'll show you. It is so clear, I can see everything down there. It's fishing, but we're not giving up. It's not fishing. No, no, we'll get something. Oh, sometimes with these squid, sometimes you've got to work for them, sometimes you don't. But I mean, you've always got to work for them, but sometimes they just come. Look at the ground. I haven't seen the ground this clear in a little while. So the fishing almanac calendar, eh? Oh, I got a squid! I got a squid! 
finally! My god! We're gonna land it, we're gonna land it. Oh, oh. Barely on. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get a squid. After hours of trying. Look at that. Whoa! We finally got ourselves a squid, ladies and gentlemen. And guess what? It's on the rainbow jig. You know, folks, it's not the biggest squid I've caught. Beautiful. Oh, almost lost him. All right, folks, so we're going to give up on the squid because maybe the fishing almanac calendar thingy, maybe that just means fish. So we're going to go and try for a few snapper. We're going to try and go get some snapper. It doesn't get much flatter than this. Look at that. But can we find the fish though? That's the big question. Again, I'll refer back to that calendar. That is the main reason I'm out. I didn't think it was going to be this calm. The weather looked a bit, how you going? But it's beautiful. Does the calendar mean that the days are best to go out fishing? Or does it mean that the fish are most active? That's what we're going to find out. I've got some fresh squid. I've got whiting. I've got pilchards. We're going to have a crack. We're going to sand around this little marker here. So we've just gotten to our spot. It is a reef. It is a recreational reef. We've got the first rod in. We've got half a whiting on that. Oh, here we go, first one. Alright, so it's on there. Oh, there's a bit of weight to this. Mm. Might just be a pinky. Full of beans. Just hope it's size. Oh, it looks size. Oh, beauty. Happy with that. A few of those. A few of those would be nice. It's coming at 30. So, it's a good start. We'll take him home for a feed. Have a go. New rig. Weighted. Launched. Beauty. Ah oh, no, it's a ray. Damn it. It's actually a ray. See if we can get as much light as we can back and then cut him loose. Oh, he let go. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Ray. Thank you very much. Hooks are back, rig's back. He can take the bait, he's earned it. Everybody wins. Oh, here we go. This one's a bit heavier. Definitely a fish. This one's definitely a fish. Do I need the net? Nah. I think it's just a big pinky. Ah, it's a banjo. Every time I've caught one of these this year, it has actually fought more than I've ever, ever felt it fight. Go. Banjo shark. See you, mate. Straight down. Good pinky. That's a good pinky. This might be size. Yes. That's how you do it. That's what we're here for. Oh, yes. That's what you call a fish. For me, anyway. That's, I'm happy with that. Thank you. Thank you. That's, I'm happy with that. Little pinky dog at 32 centimeters. Not a huge fish, but definitely a delicious fish. And I've been trying to get some of these to 
take home because I've always thrown them back trying to get something bigger and you know what, it's about time to take them home. <sighs> These are the fish I've been catching. So to say I'm excited to get those ones that are a bit bigger is an understatement because that, come on, that's what I've been catching, that's what's been taking my bait. So I'm pretty happy, good luck. So the winds picked up, which resulted in wind against tide, which was unfishable. So we decided to call it. It's been a great day at Port Phillip Bay once again. We've got a couple of pinkies that we'll whip up for dinner and a squid, which will make some good rings or bait either way. Hit that subscribe button. It'll help me out a lot. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.